Hello and welcome to what's on my pedal board. This is how I use my current setup and I'll explain it, go through the pedals, I'll do a little demo of them and uh, just general information. Uh, as you can see right over here is my pedal board and the signal chain goes from the tuner into the pitch fork which is a, a pitch shifter. Then it goes to the compressor Compressor comes back to the phaser. From the phaser, I have my first overdrive. I have my second overdrive. Then I have a fuzz. Then it goes into what I call my amp voice. This pedal is acting as my amp because I use a DI box. And then I go into my delay and reverb. And so this is a setup I found works well for me, what I do on Sunday mornings. Uh, I do switch out different effects depending on what the song calls for and what I think would sound best to serve the song. And I think that's very important. Pedal board's nice because it keeps everything together. I can quickly, well, fairly quickly, interchange something if I need to. Um, and I'll show you some of the, my, my other pedals that I use uh, from time to time. But this right here is my current setup. I've been using it for several weeks in a row and um we'll get all right so for a tuner i'm using the tc electronic polytune uh, this is the polytune 3 model it has true bypass or it, it can be buffered uh, by an, a switch inside i've tried it both ways i prefer the true bypass rather than the buffer the buffer with my setup it seemed to do weird things with it uh, so i went back to true bypass after i tried it and it, it works perfectly. I can, couldn't ask for a better tuner. From there, I'm going into my pitch shifter, which is Electro Harmonics Pitch Fork. And what I generally use this for is if I need to change a key, let's say our keyboard player has music in a certain key, it will be easier for me as a guitarist to just simply change my key. So I use this to dial in what I need I also occasionally will use this, I would use it to imitate an organ sound. And so I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. And then from there, I go to my compressor. Now I went several weeks without my compressor and I ended up putting the compressor back on because I think it boosted the signal in a way that I thought was helpful. And it just generally sounds better to my ears uh, with the compressor on it. From the compressor, I go to the phaser. Now, a lot of people will say put the phaser after the drives, but um, there are a lot of people also that say put the phaser before the drives. And uh, I've tried it both ways. I do pre prefer the phaser before my overdrives. And so that's why the, the phase 90 is here. Now I'll use it on a, the slowest setting sometimes. I'll put it to about nine o'clock sometimes. And sometimes, just depending on what the need of the song is, I'll increase the rate about right there, about three o'clock. And so uh, this is a very versatile pedal, even though it does basically one thing. Uh, you can dial it into what you need uh, as far as a phaser. First level of overdrive is a JHS Morning Glory. And I use this right now, say for this week, I have it set for the songs we're doing. I have the drive all the way down and that's not typical but for these songs that's just where I set it out for uh, the drive all the way down tone I have about two three o'clock somewhere in there volume is uh, just past noon I like this as a, a, a really dynamic sounding overdrive just almost that edge of breakup uh, as so many people use. And so uh, I think it just, it works nicely as a first line of overdrive. From there, I go into the Tube Screamer. So this is a TS9 I got uh, a couple years ago. It's been fantastic. I've had so many overdrives on my board and I keep coming back to the Tube Screamer. It just cuts through the mix in a way that the rest of them doesn't seem to be able to do. Uh, that sounds good 
while the rest of the band is playing. So I uh, keep this. I do adjust the drives depending on the guitar and depending on what the song calls for. Sometimes the drive's all the way down, but it still gives it a nice overdriven sound anyway. If I want more saturation, I'll cut the drive up. And usually I'm happy right here about 10 o'clock. You know, that's a, that's a good place. And then I adjust the volume level accordingly. Tone is just shy of 12 o'clock. From there, I go into the Honey Pot Fuzz. This is put out by TC Electronic. They have two or three different fuzzes. This one's based on um, the Big Muff, and uh, it just had that full sound that I wanted in the distortion. Uh, so I use this, the sustain right now, I have it set pretty low. Uh, occasionally I put it up to 10 or 11, uh, but that's where I have it at right now. Tone is, again, backed off from noon. Um, very, very good fuzz, in my opinion. Uh, it does what it does, and it does it well. From there, I'm going into my amp style pedal. This is a Joyo AC Tone, which is based on an AC30. And this is where I set my EQ mainly. Now, a lot of my pedals do have tone and, and EQ knobs, but Here's where I, uh, this is my first line of EQ, really. And so I'll tweak it from there. Usually, I, I, I find this pedal, the lows can get really low and overbearing real quick. So that's cut, cut back to about 11 o'clock. The mids I have turned up right now to one o'clock or two o'clock. The highs is about one o'clock. The voice knob is what really impacts this pedal the most. Um, if you cut it all the way back, it gets real quiet and it's a really muffled sounding. If you really want to open it up and gets real bright and real harsh all the way uh, open. So I have it cut back right at two o'clock, somewhere in there. That sounds good to me. And then the level I adjust, depending on if I'm using humbuckers or single coils, it's really guitar specific or where I set that. The drive knob, I have all the way down. There have been maybe one, two, or three times where I'll cut the drive knob just a little bit just to give it an extra boost to cut through the mix when I need it. And then from there, I go into my delay, which uh, right now is a TC Electronic Flashback 2 by 4. So we have basically three uh, buttons that you can press to store and switch between three different uh, delays that you want. Actually, it has more than that because you can go to the second bank and you can store three more. It also has all sorts of stuff. You can look up on the manual. It, this, this thing can do a lot, um, but it has just about any kind of delay type that you want. It has all these subdivisions time-wise, and then you can adjust it manually if you want to as well. It has a tap, tap tempo. It also has the TC mash feature which you can set parameters um, of what you want that to affect and i'll demonstrate what that sounds like and then of course the reverb is a joyo atmosphere which i find to be a very versatile reverb pedal you have plate church spring echo verb shimmer comet rewind which is a reverse forest and pulse and each one of these things can be affected by the tone and the mod knobs right now I'm just using the church setting and both of these are going about 11 o'clock and uh, I have the tone just past noon and the mod button right at noon uh, so I just like a little bit of delay and reverb and it uh, just kind of fills in the space where it won't be so dry, uh, if you understand what I mean. And all of this is being powered by the one spot from True Tone. I have the CS12 Pro, and uh, of course I can power all these pedals with it. I have chosen, however, to power the flashback using the supplied power supply uh, that came with it. And so that's one exception to it. If in a pinch I need an extra spot, I can run a line off the polytune 
and into another petal. And so I have done that in a pinch. Well, that's the pedal board set up. These are the current pedals I'm using. Let's go and listen to see what they sound like. All right, I have my guitar line going into the tuner and all the way over here at the reverb it comes out and it comes around all the way back here, backstage to a DI box, which runs into a Yamaha sound system. Today I'll be playing my 2021 American Original Series Telecaster. All right, first up is the tuner. Works like this. That's my clean signal. Actually, it's not clean, but um, that's that's what I would consider clean. Uh, it's going through the squeegee compressor, uh, J Rocket Audio Designs, and then the AC tone is on. Now, let me just give you an example of what happens when you switch the AC tone off. because it's going directly to the DI box into the sound system. But when I engage that, I can color the sound using all these uh, parameters that we have on the pedal. So that's, that's my before drive sound. Now pitch shifting. Right now I have it set where I can play uh, a flat in a G setup. And so So that's one thing I use the pitch shifter for. Also you can get this uh, if I play with the octaves. I like to blend up and down and the, and the unaffected tone as well and just have a mix to make it sound like an organ. If I want to add a little more octave to it, I just go to octave two. to the octave three as well. And depending on what key I'm, I'm playing in, if it needs, let's just say it's just a, a crazy key, I'll dial this in to where I need it to be, playing something a little bit simpler. But uh, that's, that's typically how I use the pedal. It could do a whole lot more um, but that's what I use it for. Next up is the compressor. I have the compression and the volume on that. Dialed up past noon, so it's about one or two o'clock, somewhere in there. And uh, I just, to me that's what sounds best in the room. I don't know if it's picking up on the microphone very well or not. But that's, that's how I set it uh, when I'm playing. First line of drive is the JHS Morning Glory. Now I have it set the drive is all the way down. 
Um, so I, I went for a more clean sound that's boosted with this pedal. But when you dig into it, it has that edge of breakup sound to it. I use this pedal mainly as always on. Uh, this is just the bass tone that I have along with the compressor um, and the AC tone. That's just where I set rock bottom for my cleans. And then uh, with all that on, I have my phaser. Right now I have it set at a low rate of speed, the lowest you can set it to. And uh, how do I use this? I use this on certain songs, especially if it's uh, an instrumental part that needs just a little bit of depth to it, or it's a bridge where I have heavy overdrive going just to add a little more interest to it, a little more sweep to what's going on. Of course, you can, you know what a phaser does, you can turn it up about halfway. <laughs> get really swirly with it. But most of the time I have it set really low just to give it a little bit of interest to the song. Okay, the second overdrive level I have is the Tube Screamer. Uh, keep in mind, it goes phase 90 into the Morning Glory into the Tube Screamer. And this is when I just want the overdriven sound. I do this a lot in, depending on what style the, the song is, if it's a, a more driven song, then obviously I'm going to use overdrive. That's a fast song that I feel like needs it, or the chorus parts, you know, I'll start quieting the verses and then kick it in for the chorus, but I think we all know what a Tube Screamer sounds like. Pot fuzz. To me, it sounds really good. Uh, single note leads. It's almost violin like, just like you know, any kind of big muff fuzz will sound like, but. good for power chords. Sometimes I have the sustain dial up to about 11 o'clock, 10 or 11 o'clock somewhere there. types of fuzz you know that but this was more of a big muff style the flashback delay it's basically three delay pedals in one three flashbacks where you can store your settings and I've done that with with different delays depending on how I use them in songs but the first one is kind of like this
different types, different speeds. And of course I tap it in with the tap tempo. And so I, I just use that in different, different ways. Um, I like analog, I like tape. Uh, occasionally I'll use the uh, 2290 digital delay. Sometimes uh, I'll use the dynamic just to give it a little bit of uh, flavor to it. But yeah, I don't use delay all the time, but certain songs call for it and I think it fits in. Um, I'm not delay crazy. I just like that subtle, you know, adding that layer of texture there. And then I have my reverb pedal, which I have set to church right now. And, uh... and here's what it sounds like with the echo. It just kind of tails off there a little bit. It's not over the top, but it's noticeable when I, when I need it. And it just adds that, that layer that I want. Um, I can show you a couple of the other settings. I have used echo verb, which is a delay and reverb together. So that just gives you an idea. It's just delay with the reverb. Um, another one I've used is Forest. And another one I've used is Shimmer, depending on the song but it just adds some texture to it. You can turn the shimmer all the way up and it adds more notes, I think, in the the registers. Now this reverb also has a uh, trail, which you can switch on. Normally I have it on. Um, not that it matters much to me, but uh, that's just how I set it. So that's my current pedal board setup. And if you have any questions, or if something wasn't clear to you, if you just want me to talk about something else or explain something, be happy to do that. Uh, these are not the only pedals I use, and so uh, I will show you some that I switch in and out from time to time. All right, I just want to mention some of these other pedals that I've used before. Uh, just uh, some quick honorable mentions. If you're looking for a good compressor that's really cheap, I think this one was $19. This is a Mimi D compressor. It works. It sounds great. It, it's simple. Um, three knobs. Um, I can recommend this one to you. It works. Another, honor, another honorable mention from the same maker, it, Mimi D, is their analog delay. Nothing wrong with it. You dial it in how you want it. There's no tap tempo or anything. There's not a way to do that. But it's got your time, repeat, and mix. This is a simple analog delay that, again, works great and sounds good. Over here, we have the, uh, the K-Line Orange Burst. This is the older version of it. It's based on the Exotic BB 
preamp. Um, this thing gets loud, it gets mean, and I just think it sounds great. And I've used it in certain, certain applications and certain songs, and it worked just fine. Of course, one of my favorites uh, that goes on and off the board quite a bit is the BD2 Blues Driver from Boss. Uh, how can you not like a blues driver? Um, just a fantastic, I, I think one of Boss's best pedals that they've made. Of course, Boss has, has made tons of good pedals. And uh, here's one I probably have only used a couple of times, but uh, what it did, it did very well. And that's everybody's favorite metal zone. Um, anyway, start the metal zone comments, but that has, you can dial that in to sound pretty much however you want it to. It's got so many options on it. Tremolo is another one I use a lot. So I just got this pretty inexpensive uh, Joyo Tremolo, a simple two knobber, and uh, it works great, works great. And I've used, this is on and off my board quite a bit, depending on my, my needs. There's another overdrive back here by Joyo called the Sweet Baby. And the nice thing about this is so it's very um, low gain overdrive. Um, the nice thing about this is you can set this focus knob and it, it's almost like how much uh, saturation you get, uh, if, if, I, if I'm explaining that right. Um, but it's nice because if you're playing with single coils, you can dial in the overdrive where it sounds best for it. Or if you're using humbuckers, you can also dial in for that. But it's, a, it's just a good good little overdrive. Uh, I know people use it and swear by it and uh, really like it a lot. It's not one you typically see a whole lot. Here's another one that's on and off my board all the time. And that's this Icebox by DoD. It's a chorus pedal. And uh, I'll just show you my settings on it. That's where I use it. It's more of a subtle effect that still comes through clearly. Um, I just really like this. I've had this as probably one of my oldest pedals. Uh, I think I have a Wah pedal that's older. But this thing has been with me since the mid-late 90s. Very good chorus pedal. This one I've used a couple of times. It's not one I would go to a lot, but if I need a certain sound, then this is where I go to. It's a nice preamp, has a really good reverb on it. Um, it's not gonna make your guitar sound just like an acoustic, but it does its thing. Now, these two pedals are also ones that have been, this one in particular that's the K-Line Pure Sky. It's made to be like a Timmy, which sounds great. This pedal uh, has lived on my board quite a bit, and it it sounds really good. It's got this good tone that works well with a lot of songs. And so uh, it's not on my board currently, but I use it a lot. And this one, just left my board for the very first time. Uh, this is the Silver, Silver Horse by Mosky, or Mosky, or I'm not sure how you say that, but I'll just say Mosky, because I like saying it like that. Um, this is based on Klon, and the way I use it mainly is as an overdrive. I think it sounds great that way. Um, don't really use it as a boost, but you could. Uh, a lot of people do. Nice thing about the silver, they have a silver one and a gold one. Uh, the only difference is the silver has a toggle switch here to change the voice. So you have silver mode and gold mode. And so uh, really, I really recommend the Silver Horse. Uh, like I said, it just came off my board for the first time only because I needed a spot. I needed space and I uh, finally decided to take this one off for the songs I was using. Well, those are some of the honorable mentions, some of the ones that are on and off uh, quite a bit. Um, if you have any questions, if you, if you would like just to 
a video focusing on one pedal or maybe a few pedals, uh, then just leave me a comment below. And uh, if you like this, if this was helpful, um, let me know that as well. But I uh, appreciate you watching, and until uh, next time, rock on.